don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. This is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Today we're going to be talking about some features for our assigned run ID within Evolve Electrical. So to dive right in, we're going to go into our conduit run schedule. I'm just going to show you an overview of some of the information that lives within our conduit run schedule. You're going to see you have ability to pump in a lot of information within our conduit run schedule. And you're going to see we also have four tabs up here, our run schedule, our options, our wire schedule, and then our wire sizes. We can definitely dive deeper into our run schedule in a later video. But once that's all good to go, we're going to go to our assigned run ID, which is what we're going to be focusing more on today. So first, you can select your feature and it'll prompt you to be able to select one conduit. Or you can first select a grouping of conduit and then go into your feature. Or the third option is you can hold down shift, select the feature, and you're able to select multiple conduit at once. So from there, we can see we have all of our run IDs that we can select from. So there's a good amount of them. But since I've selected them first, I can do filter by selection and it will narrow down my search to the run IDs that are associated with what I've selected, meaning my parallel quantity and my conduit size. From there, you're gonna select the one that you need and then press okay. So now when I select on this conduit, you're gonna see within my properties, I have all that information now living within the conduits, which is nice if you modify it in any kind of way, it'll hold all of that information. So I'm gonna turn on my show system colors. So you're gonna see everything's assigned. So from there, I wanna talk about when there's design changes and you want to be able to connect your runs together or if you wanna modify anything for design changes. So let's say in this situation, this grouping of conduit is FR01 and this is FR02. What's gonna happen when you try to connect these runs together? So we're gonna go into our conduit run schedule and you're gonna see within our options. So we have our run options here. So if this is selected here, it's not gonna prompt you to define what run ID you want. So I'm gonna delete these pens here and I'm gonna use my multi-trim and trim my two runs together. Now you're gonna see when I select on my conduit here that my run ID was assigned to my FR02, which you can see it didn't prompt me to figure out which one is actually needed in this situation. So how to fix that is I'm gonna go into my conduit run schedule and you're gonna go into your options tab and I'm gonna uncheck my option run right here. So now let's try that again. I'm gonna go into my multi-trim again and select these two grouping of conduits, press finish, and then it's gonna have a prompt. So it's gonna go by one by one. So let's say I need my FRO1 in this situation. It's gonna prompt me for that conduit. Now it's gonna prompt me for the next one. And I'm gonna do my FRO1 as well. So now you can see you have a little bit more control of what is needed in that situation. So that is today's Fun Feature Friday on some of the cool features within our assigned run ID. If any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.